friends. Listen to this. Imagine somebody called the cops on you, right? They called the cops on you. Then when the cops came, they want you to walk with them to the police. <laughs> they call the cops on you. Call the cops on you. Then telling you to walk with them to the police. Wow. Watch this video. It's impossible. She's playing the black card. And it just like it's she said she's playing the black card. She's playing the black card. Yes. That's exactly what this woman just said. That's what her husband, she said. I'm not even paying her no mind. That's how embarrassing she is. The husband never even approached her, make sure she was okay. She's in such distress. This pregnant mom, she's in such distress. Her husband never even approached her to see if she was okay. Because she's so afraid for her life. You see, the husband, go and leave her. <laughs> the husband don't want no part of this. Even the husband. I was attacking you. I was attacking you. It's my neighborhood. I'm gonna do what I want. Cause it is my neighborhood. I got the right to sit here. This is my neighborhood. I got the right to sit here. That's where you went wrong at by approaching me because you thought this wasn't my neighborhood. That's where you went wrong at. That's where you went wrong at. My husband is literally leaving. Here's it's your neighbor with you. It's America. You can go anywhere you want to go. You're free. You're not a slave. Who cares? Wrong neighbor with you. Wrong neighbor with you. Look at how she's standing up there. You can't make this up. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Me walk with you to the police. Can you imagine that? If Bozo was a person, it would be you. <laughs> she she wants her to walk with her to the police. <laughs> This is what you call white privilege, right? Yes. <laughs> Can you imagine to leave my comfort? She want me to do her the favor to walk with her to the police. What? Can I make this up? Yeah, she should mind her business. She see me sitting here minding my business. Minding my business. I can't even come out here for some fresh air without a white lady telling me that I shouldn't be sitting here. She said I'm threatening her kids. I'm glad all this is on. Look how she crying and saying I'm threatening her kids. Yeah, can I give you my phone number? Like, can you can you look at her great phone number or not? So now she's filming me, she's calling me a bitch, she came to me and my kids, threatening me, and now she's standing, like I'm shaking, I'm pregnant, I have two kids with me, and she's filming me right now. This is my building, this is my neighborhood, I'm sitting here by myself, trying to yeah, enjoy my so time by myself, yeah, this so and this white woman is making me very uncomfortable. Yes, there is this park that was just built recently, and they're sitting in this park. So we've been home. Here, you can't even give an answer. 
She can't even give an answer. I don't think she, she expect me to be sitting over. So as you can see, black people are still dealing with this issue here in America. A black person sitting there where they live, minding their own business, and here come this Karen, the actual Russian Karen, that's an immigrant. Maybe we need to look at her papers because she needs to be deported too. That's how I feel about it, right? Go back to where you come from to Russia.